Hey everyone, it's Hindash and my babies. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because I'm giving my friend Ezgi a Dubai makeover. She's in Dubai, I invited her over to my studio. We're gonna play with makeup and create a beautiful look. <laughs> now me and Ezgi met on a press trip in LA and we've been in touch since. We've known each other for about two years. So I'm so excited to be doing this video with her and having her over at my house. And I hope you guys enjoy the look. <laughs> So if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so here is the beautiful Ezgi. And as you can see, I went for a look that was pretty similar to the look that I did on my sister because I love that and I really wanted to revisit that look and I thought, why not? So getting into skincare, I'm going to be starting off with a hyaluronic acid serum. This one is from Naturium. And I'm just going to apply that all over the face because I really want to prep the skin for hydration. And this just does that. I love this hyaluronic acid serum for skin prep. And I feel like whatever I put on top of this will just penetrate even more effectively. And once that's on her skin, I'm going to take these really cool cryo balls. I think they're called cryo balls. And basically, I put these in the fridge so they're really cold. And it's great for depuffing and just getting the blood flow going. And it's a treat to the models. I mean, I want to treat Ezgi because she is my guest and it's fun. And it's a great boost to kind of wake you up. And this is what we're doing. I love this over the eyes as well. It really does help with depuffing. Next, I'm going to go with an under eye cream. And this is the Shiseido Ultimune Eye. And it's like a gel. It's very lightweight. Makeup sits beautifully on top of this as well. Basically, all of the skincare products that I use, I really love for underneath makeup, unless I'm trying something new and I'm letting you know. So yeah, I'm just going to be tapping this underneath the eyes and just let it sink in. Taking a tiny bit of whatever is left on the brow bone. For moisturizer, I'm taking the Tatcha The Dewy Skin Cream and I'm actually using this as my moisturizer and my primer in one. So I'm not really going to be putting any primer because I feel like this, again, Makeup sits really, really well on top of it, and I want to create that really nice glowy finish by keeping her skin hydrated. And of course, don't forget to take this down the neck and give that some love. For foundation, I'm going to be trying the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation in Natural Beige, and I'm going to be mixing it in with my Dior Face and Body Glow, which is a liquid highlight. And I'm doing this because I don't want a super, super matte finish. I just want it to kind of be kind of a natural skin look, even though, you know, we're adding coverage. <laughs> and I love the original Too Faced Born This Way foundation, so I was excited to try this. So I'm gonna be applying that in a very thin, even layer and just building it up and buffing it into the skin. And as always, I like to start from the jawline and building my way into the face, into the center of the face. And I'm not really gonna take much of this underneath the eyes, I'm just kind of spreading it all around. And whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to be taking that on the forehead because I don't want a ton of product there because I always like the forehead to be more of a tan color and with less product. To stick with the foundation for concealer, I'm taking the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Warm Beige and Vanilla. And basically, Ezgi told me that she uses Warm Beige to kind of counteract any darkness and then Vanilla to highlight. So I'm going to be doing that on her as well. I'm more likely mixing the two together and then in the end I'm going to be going in with a touch of vanilla to brighten but yeah I'm basically doing a mix and applying that underneath the eyes, around the mouth, on the chin and any areas that I want to highlight. And I'm going to be blending everything with a damp beauty blender and just tapping it into the skin and not really rubbing everything around so you want to push that product in and tap and blend. And then with whatever is left, I'm going on the jawline just to kind of add a bit of brightness there. Now I'm taking the vanilla shade, which I'm highlighting with, and I'm just going to be placing that to kind of bring light into the face. So I'm mainly putting that underneath the eyes. So think of this as your highlighter. For cream bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in Terracotta Tan. And I'm going to be placing that in the areas where I would bronze and contour at the same time. So on the cheekbones, the forehead and the jawline. And I'm going to be blending and buffing that in with my foundation brush. Now, I always do this step with a foundation brush because it already has some product left on it, obviously from the foundation. So it's going to make blending all these creams so much more easier and it's going to blend seamlessly into the skin. You have to try this. 
And for a cream blush, I'm taking the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in Sunset Strip, one of my all-time favorite cream blushes. I can't get enough of this. If you want to try one, this is the one because it works on very fair skin if you use a bit and then it works on deeper skin because it has that beautiful, rich, rosy, sun-kissed color. I'm going to be setting everything with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Honey, which is a very warm honey banana powder. <laughs> and I'm taking a thin layer on my beauty blender and just dabbing that and pressing it all over the skin, underneath the eyes, around the mouth. Basically, I'm setting her entire skin apart from the outer kind of cheekbone area where there's a bit of glow, because I'm going to be setting that with powder blush later anyway. And for lips, I'm just going to be using the Bud Beauty Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask. And I'm going to be putting a pretty thick layer on because I'm just going to let that sink in and let it do its job. So by the time we get to lips, the lips are nice and hydrated. Next, moving on to eyes, I'm going to be taking the MAC Paint Pot in Lay in Low. This is basically one of my all-time favorite cream eyeshadows because it neutralizes any discoloration if you have medium skin because it has a peachy undertone. So applying that from lash line pretty much up to the brow bone. And then I'm going to be setting it with my Nabla side-by-side -side eyeshadow palette and using the two light creamy shades just to basically dust all over the eye. Now, of course, I'm going to be taking my NARS Mambo and I'm going to be sketching out the shape of the wing that I want to do and the shape of the overall eye look. So what I'm going to be doing is starting off on the outer corner and then winging that out. I'm going to then be taking my brush and just smoking and smudging everything in to kind of stretch that liner as far as it can go. Because I'm using a pencil, it's very blendable, it's very creamy. And I'm going to be pulling that shape inwards. So with that eyeliner, I'm going to be kind of blending everything inwards and kind of contouring the eye at the same time. I'm basically going for a very elongated but winged look. That's going to allow me to add more color on top and to blend everything with more powders. And I'm basically going to be sketching that over the crease because she has a bit of a hooded eyelid. And then taking that chocolate brown from the palette, I'm going to be going over the work that I did and just intensify everything and blend it even further. And then I'm going to be connecting that inner corner with that chocolate brown and sketching the outer lower lash line as well for a bit more definition and to tie everything in. And I'm going to take my brush and smudge that in. Next, I'm taking that soft beige color and connecting the work that I did in the crease from the eyeshadow and blending it in together so that we get a nice diffused blend. I'm not going to completely blend that shape, but I do want to diffuse it. And then I decided to go all over the lid with a light matte cream ivory color because I want to open up the eyes and I want to kind of bring brightness to the center of the eyes and make her eyes look bigger. And that's going to be my base for now. Next, I'm going to be taking the MAC Flare for the Dramatic Extra Dimension Skin Finish, which is a highlighter. And I'm spraying a bit of Fix Plus and applying that on the lower lash line for a nice deep kind of champagne bronze. I also decided to use the Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector and Bronzite. Now, this went on more like a scattered reflective glitter as opposed to like a full-on wet overall metallic shimmer because I put it over a powdered base. Next, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Flyliner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm going to be sketching that pretty close to the lashes and kind of tracing underneath the brown that I did, just for that extra dimension and depth. You want to get pretty close and create a very thin line. For mascara, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes 2 Mascara, and I'm going to let Esgi apply that to her lashes and just really get in there and wiggle it on. And for individuals, I'm going to be taking my Ardell Individual Lashes in Medium and placing that on the outer corner and bringing them kind of halfway in as far as I can go without closing her eyes. For a bit of nose contour, I'm going to be taking my Dior Backstage Contour Palette and then I'm going to kind of contour the tip of the nose and along the tip as well and very lightly down the bridge. For bronzer, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Bronzer in Bronze Number 3. And this is really beautiful because it doesn't feel like a flat bronzer. It has a bit of a dimension to it, but it's still pretty matte. So mimicking all the areas where I've done the cream bronzer, so on the forehead, cheekbones, jawline, and a bit down the neck as well. For eyebrows, I really love SK's brows. I don't want to do anything to them really. So I'm taking the Hourglass Brow Pencil in Ash, and I'm just very, very lightly adding a bit of a shadow underneath the brows, if you know what I mean. 
So I'm not adding like a, a structure, I'm not adding a shape, I'm just adding color underneath, very, very softly. And then I'm gonna brush that through. And taking my Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen in Baby Brown, which I love, I'm gonna draw very tiny hairs just in the front and wherever I find tiny gaps. This is basically gonna look undetectable. It's gonna look like her actual brows. I love it. And then brushing through everything with a clear brow gel to hold everything in place and make her brows look bushy and fluffy and beautiful. For blush, I'm gonna be going in with the MAC Gingerly Blush and just kind of drape that all along the cheekbones and cheeks. It's gonna blend in with the contour that we did and the cream blush and just give her a really healthy peachy glow. I'm gonna be accentuating all her beauty marks with the Lime Crime brow pencil that I used earlier and just kind of dotting over them. And if it gets a bit too dark, you wanna tap it with your finger to take off a bit of the excess. For highlighter, I'm taking the MAC Flashing Ice Extra Dimension Skin Finish Trio in Light. This is part of the holiday collection. And I'm taking that champagne color in the center and going over the cheekbones to highlight a bit on top of the brow, on the chin, and then down the nose and the tip of the nose. For a nude pencil, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 502 Infinite Sand, and I'm just gonna let Ezgi put that on her waterline. And now we get to lips. I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Contour Lip Pencil and just going over her lip shape and defining it. I'm not really gonna be filling it in, just a bit on the corners. And for lipstick, I'm gonna be using MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick, which I realize I haven't used in ages on my channel, which is very weird because it's one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. And I'm using that with a lip brush because I don't want a heavy matte application. I kind of want it to look blotted and just kind of like a soft blur finish. And I'm gonna be putting gloss on top of it anyway. For gloss, I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This is, I think, one of my all-time favorite glosses. All their, all their colors I love, and the formula is just beautiful. So again, with the lip brush, I'm gonna be applying that all over the lips for that very high shine mirror-like finish. I love it. And setting everything with MAC Fix Plus. And this is the final look. This is my Dubai makeover on Ezgi, and I think she looks beautiful. I know this might be kind of a repeated look, but it is a look that I love to do, and I've never done it on Ezgi, so of course I wanna give her the full-on fantasy. <laughs> And we had so much fun. I'm gonna leave her Instagram in the description box down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.